G'day and welcome back to Station Ears. In between episodes, I did what I said I was going to do and I did a bunch of mining. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good on resources now. Um, I did manage to find a little bit of lead. Um, nice uh, 150 there that we'll be able to use. And this episode, uh, we are going to... We're going to make a push for endgame stuff, basically. Um, so, realistically, you, you probably wouldn't be uh, going into all the different alloys this early. Um, I should be working on food and stuff like that, but... Um, the fun part of the game for me is automation. So, that's what I'm going to push towards. And for that, we need uh, all the different alloys. Now, I did try to do a little bit of um, smelting in between episodes as well but I um I didn't want to waste uh too much time because I spent so much time mining that we're actually uh we're running out of food uh but I'm sure we'll be fine okay so um let's get that going now we've got this set up um seeing as we're going to do a bunch of smelting I wanted to see if we could actually store some of this gas. Now that we have steel, I think we actually have the ability to make the, uh, oh, we can't make it in there. Um, the atmospheric uh, kit, which is uh, basically we're looking for a filtration system, but we will need the hydraulic pipe bender which just needs some iron, gold, and copper. Looks good. Change the recipe. And I'm getting a warning for low filter, but we still have two, two filters there. So what I am going to do is just uh, dump that empty one here into our... This is our bin, basically. This is all the stuff I'm going to recycle. <laughs> Where are you going? Um, all right, so while we're waiting for those, let's um, let's turn this on. Oh, that's got the atmospherics chip in it. Where is the e-reader? There it is. I'll swap that over. Okay, so let's have a look at the recipes for the different ingots. Um, mainly the alloys. That's what we're looking for. So there's Electrum, Invar. Constantin and solder. Uh, so what I'm looking at doing is making those four. And um, there's going to be an ideal way to do it um, without using up a bunch of um, like re-emptying uh, the uh, furnace and re-igniting it and stuff like that. We could use the same heat and pressure. Um... Let's just make sure I do have... Yeah, I haven't separated these yet, so we should do that. That way, during the day, um, we will still be able to use this. Um, so, remember, during the day, I can't hold um, ices in my hand because it they will evaporate. But I can keep them in my mining belt. So, if I... If I separate them now... I'll never have to put them in my hands because what I can do is just hold down uh, left alt and then drag them straight in so they won't evaporate instantly. So we'll be able to do some smelting during the day if we need to. Um, all right, let's go back to, let's go back to this and grab our tablet out again. So the first one, what are we going to need? Basically, we need, we need to find the most difficult one to create in terms of pressure and temperature and do that one first when, um, when the furnace is in ideal temperature. You know, that's going to be as we first ignite it. Which is probably Invar, I think, because you need between 6 and 7 
megapascals and between 1.2 thousand Kelvin and 2000 Kelvin. Yeah, see, Constantin is, is very forgiving with pressure. You can go down to as low as 100 kilopascals and up to 10 megapascals. And as long as it's over um, 1000 Kelvin or 1500 or, you know, lower than 1500, we should be right with that. Solder is very forgiving in terms of temperature. We can go down to 300 Kelvin. Pressure is pretty good too if it drops too low, but uh, generally as we're smelting, we're actually going to be increasing the pressure because we're going to be putting more material in. But pressure can be easily uh, controlled, right? Uh, not with this. If we get rid of this setup, we'll swap it with a, a pump and then we'll be able to come over here, turn the pump on, which will uh, evacuate some of the uh, pressure and then um, without losing too much temperature. Okay, put that away and get the screwdriver. There we go. Our pipe bender is done. Oh, we just need to give it some power. Splice it into the network. There we go, turn that on. Okay, so the pipe bender, basically it's going to make anything that's related to atmospherics. So uh, vents and uh, pipes, pressure regulators, you know, all that type of stuff. Um, what we are looking for is, uh, well, first we need a, uh, a pump. Because I would like to remove that valve that we have and go to a pump. Because uh, it'll be a lot better than this. Having to run over here to turn this on is pretty dumb. Which we need iron, gold and copper. There is a tiny little bit of copper there that we can get rid of. Actually, I might just put all of it in there. And we've got some iron there. <clears throat> No gold though. There's a lot of gold in there though. Let's uh, dump that out. Okay. Oh, another another idea I had. Let's make a tool manufactory. So this will allow us to make all our tools. Um, there's also a couple of upgraded tools, like an upgraded welder and upgraded uh, hand drill. Um, but it'll also allow us to make additional mining belts, which I think would be a great way to store all this crap that I've, uh, you know, mined up for us. Um, all right, so volume pump. Power is low. Let's get that swapped over. Um, just so I have a clear idea, how are we actually going on food? We've got four cereal bars. There's nothing anywhere else. Four cereal bars. Okay. Alright, there's our pump. Let's, uh... Let's get the wrench out so we can do some pipe work. We want to get rid of that. Okay, so we want to flip it around to the other way. I would like the button to be accessible. It's going to be upside down. I'm sure that'll be fine. 
um, 50 liters. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that means exactly because if it's a, a volume pump, it, it should be some sort of a time measurement. So liters per second or something. Also, Timmy, turn off these fucking machines that you're not using. I mean, sure, you've got automated power, but it's not that great. Okay, we can remove that. We don't need the active vent anymore. Um, so this would be good. This will allow us to st stay well away from this area while we're um, um, emptying the furnace. So we'll be able to just come over here, turn this on. Uh, and if we need to slightly adjust the pressure, like release it, we can turn this on, turn it off and then double check it. It's it's a very primitive setup. I mean, later on we can automate this and have it uh, set up to go to pressures by itself. But for right now, we just, um, we just need to get uh, something working. Uh, now I am running out of time in the day. I wanted to make an atmospherics kit so we can actually store some of this stuff. So, uh, atmospherics, what do we need for that? Just iron, gold, and copper. Quite a bit of copper, though. Um, what do we actually want to store? Pollutants? I'm not 100% sure what else we want. Now, uh, storage options... If we have a look for tank, we have portable tank, which needs to go on a tank connector, but they require quite a bit of iron. And I'm not 100% sure how much temperature the portable tank can withstand. So we might be better off building the actual tank instead, which uses steel. But we've got quite a bit of steel. So, yeah, we can build two of those. And then we want to actually move this setup that I've done. <laughs> Great. Um, okay. Second guessing myself. Oh, quickly, uh, while it's still dark, let's... Um, so uh, to create like a good atmosphere for um, Invar to be created, we actually need a different ratio of um, volatiles to oxide because we need such a high pressure um, and such a high temperature. Uh, it's actually better with a one to one ratio and to have six pieces of each. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, and six of those. Um, I think I'm just going to get rid of one of the stacks there. Okay, there we go. We've got both of our mixtures somehow. Okay, that's good. Let's um, Let's get back into this. Okay, so we want to mouse wheel through till we get uh, filtration. And I think we're going to just place it like this. There's only two gases I, I can think of that I want, which is um, pollutants and probably uh, nitrogen. Is that, I think they're, they're the most difficult where... Um, most difficult to get in this atmosphere that we're in. So let's build that guy there. And... Change this to filtration unit. Swap it around. Sure. I'll place that like that. Okay. Okay. 
build the tanks. We're definitely going to need some more pipes, so let's get that going. Try and save on some power. Uh, Alright, so we want to connect these up. So the way the filtration system works is uh, this is the input. And then we have filters here for the gas that we want to filter out. And that filtered gas comes through here. Anything that isn't that type comes out this waste pipe. And I think what we're going to do is pump that just back into the system. Ah, oh, we need more pipes. And... Hmm... How do we do this? Because we're not capturing all the gases. So these pipes are going to, um, like they're going to, they're going to get full <laughs> otherwise. Because it's going to be like CO2 and all sorts of shit. I'm hoping that these two filtration units will actually pull the gas that they need. Um, so the type of gas. Oh, okay, okay. Ease up, ease up, big boy. There you go. All right. I mean, I, I do need a lot of pipes, but just, just take it easy, all right? So, um, all right, let's run through this. So we're going to leave the, the pump off, which should stop any gas from going through. I think it works like a, a valve as well. And then, um, we're going to do our smelting, which is going to build up pressure and everything. And then what we're going to do is when we need to empty it, we turn the pump on, which is going to pump all the gas out of said furnace into this pipe system um and then i'm hoping that these filtration units are going to pull out the gas that they need before it gets to the passive vent which um which probably isn't going to work is it we might be better off put, putting a valve here to stop anything from getting out until we've gone through all the gas which might be a better idea but we will need to watch the pressure of the pipes because obviously they can't take infinite pressure so let's remove that and we will put a valve there this might go horribly wrong <laughs> we'll uh, we'll find out um do we want a valve or do we want a uh... Maybe a pump would be better. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's get uh, the wiring set up, I guess. Uh, so we don't need any data, I don't think. And we can actually put a wire through a straight pipe. As long as they're both straight. It will work. Um, this is going to be an issue though. I might change this to a straight piece. And we'll put the pump maybe here. And then a passive vent there. Yeah, that looks good. 
Uh, I'm not sure which side we need to... Oh, we can do it now. Yep, that looks good. Okay. So we can run the wiring down there. That will look nice. So we just need a junction. Uh, do we want to go down this way? Yeah, sure. I think it's going to be one more, to be honest. Yeah, this works out nicely because we'll be able to wire up this tool manufacturer as well. God damn, I ran out of cables. There we go. Okay. Then you off. Uh, this stopped crafting. Oh, there's some in there. God damn it. <laughs> uh, it stopped crafting because I spliced into the network. Which, I don't know, it sort of resets the machines, turns them off and turns them on again. Uh, Alright, so next we need to make the filters that we need. Um, so they are also made in the hydraulic pipe bender. Um, under filter. We want nitrogen and, and pollutant. They're the two we want to keep. For now, anyway. Which does take five iron. Okay, excellent. Now, I do want to get the atmospheric analyzer out in the tablet. Because I'm going to want to watch this. Um, mainly because I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so this should be... Okay, this is just... It's basically at uh, the external pressure at the moment. Um, just because that was in the pipes. Um, except for this section here, that's at vacuum, which is perfect. And there's probably nothing in here. No. Well, we should be able to get this to vacuum, right? If we... Turn these on. Oh, no. Yeah, because we don't have the other two gases. But it did pull out the gases that we wanted. So there's... 0 0.03 moles of uh, nitrogen. C mole. I have no idea what a C mole is. Probably some smaller measurement of mole. So if we turn this on, that's going to evacuate the rest of the pressure, right? Looks like it is. It's just venting it out to the atmosphere. Swap the battery over. Our power's looking good. We are making more power than what we're using, which is a good sign. It would help if I turn these fucking machines off. Um, now, these filtration units are, are very, uh, very low in power consumption. These, however, are quite expensive. I think they're like 100 watts or something. Um, so we should probably leave that off, I guess. And to save the filters, we should turn those off as well. All right, I think we are ready now. Let's close down some of this crap. Let's get our mining belt. Let's ensure this is off. Okay, cool. So we can start smelting. And, um... First thing we're going to need to do... 
Um, it was Invar, wasn't it? Okay, so... Invar is... Iron and Nickel. Then we want to do Constantine, which is Copper and Nickel. Then we want to do Electrum, which is Gold and Silver. And then we want to do... The final one, which is solder, iron, and lead. All right, let's uh, let's do it. So we're gonna put six volatiles in there. We're gonna activate it to melt them. There we go. The lid opened up, so we're ready to go. Then we're gonna put our six uh, oxides in there. Click that. That's going to ignite. Going up to 2000 uh, Kelvin, and pressure is dropping quite rapidly, actually. Um, I might have, I might have fucked it. <laughs> uh, nickel, we need. So we'll wait for that. When it drops down to seven. Needs to go under under seven. Let's just vent out just a touch. That didn't do anything. Yeah, a little bit closer. Oh, I think it just dropped below temperature. It did. We needed 1,200. God damn it. All right, screw it. Let's um, let's throw some more stuff in there. That should bump up the temperature again, but it's also going to bump up the uh, pressure. But we should be able to vent it out, right? There we go. So now we're going to make Inva. There's our Invar. Next, we need uh, Constantin. Constantin is going to be nickel and copper. And that needs a thousand. Oh, don't do that. Got to close the mold. Provided it stays above a thousand. Oh, God damn it. The pressure might have been too high, actually. Um, let's let's break some more of this up. Let's fuck that off as well. That's in my way. I don't care about that. All right, let's close this up. Now, um, we did mess this up. We've got a region mix, but we know how we messed up. Actually, no. I don't. One of them wasn't a full stack. God damn it. <laughs> I knew this would happen. I'm just, I'm useless at this. Like, when I'm under pressure. Alright, let's get that temperature back up. I should probably check the, the piping as well. Make sure it's not going to blow up. Nah, she looks all right. They can handle 60 megapascals. It's fine. All right, you get over there. All right, how about we grab a, a full stack this time, hey? What are we, what are we at? Yep, that looks good. Okay. Let's wait for that to process. Temperature's dropping. Do it. I think the pressure's too too high. Needs to be under 10. There we go. Hey, we got it. Okay. There's two. Next, um we need electrum. Uh, 
and Electrum, I'm just going to actually double check. So where's that uh, tablet? There it is. 700, which we've got 960, but yeah, can't be over 2.4. So we need to release a lot of this pressure. close just a touch more come on there we go okay drop the silver in wait for it to process and then drop the gold in Gonna stay above 700 Kelvin. What's going on? Oh, the pressure built up. God damn it. Oh, and it's below 700 now. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's split some more of this off. Probably just just try and release some of this. All right, let's go. Okay, we got the temperature. We just need to reduce the pressure. I don't care about my hunger. That thing can flash all at once. Man, I I screwed this up hardcore. All right, a little bit more. How are we looking now? Oh, it's just about to drop. There it is. It should be good. There we go. Electrum. Okay. Uh, next we need iron, a full stack of iron please, and some lead. And I believe this is pretty forgiving, right? This is the easiest one to make. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we're done. We got all four alloys and I only screwed up like four times, so <laughs> pretty good. Uh, let's turn that stupid thing off. Uh, let's get some food so it stops beeping at me. Um, what are we doing here? There we go. Excellent. Okay. So I'm happy with that. We've got a little bit of everything. Uh, we will need to wait to get a, um, we'll need to get a centrifuge so we can break these down and find out exactly what quantities of each we had. Um, if you, if you know how it messed up, like if it just messed up because you had the wrong temperature or something, you can just throw it back in there and get it to the right temperature. Uh, and pressure and then it'll create it it'll create what it was meant to uh but because i don't know what quantities of what we had i don't know what to add i don't know if we needed more uh copper or if we needed more nickel so yeah that was my bad i should have looked at the quantities but uh see what i mean about the uh the furnace like it's quite cool that you've got to try and manage your pressure and the temperature and yeah it's it's pretty fun now how did we go with um pressure in the pipes here because we released quite a lot and i wasn't even bothered to bloody check it so were we close to blowing pipes nah it, it got up there it's 692 degrees celsius 
but yeah, seven megapascals. That's that's not bad. All right, so let's um, let's turn these on. They're going to start pulling the gas from the pipes and putting them in the tanks here. So we should get quite a bit of nitrogen and um, pollutant. Actually, not not a great deal of nitrogen. I don't know how to create a lot of nitrogen. It's a, it's a shitload of CO2, but the entire Mars atmosphere is built up of CO2, so I don't really care about it. There's a tiny little bit of hydrogen, which I don't really care about either. Okay, and... Um, we can't really use that to do any smelting. I was going to say we could throw some copper or something in there, but... We need at least 600 Kelvin to do that, and it's just about to drop below that. So I think we'll just vent this. Vent it all into the system. Uh, now this is just a... Like, I, I don't exactly know what we're going to do with this stuff. I just, I know that we were going to do a lot of smelting, so I wanted to try to capture it. Um, but it, at least we've got it now. It's here. And, um... I don't know, we can play around with it later, I guess. We really need to start working towards um, food, ideally. So where are we going to build a little greenhouse? We'll build it here. Um, before we mess around with that, I'm going to clean up all of this crap, because I'm going to lose it for sure. Okay, so there's lots of cool stuff in here, like um, there's an upgraded suit, which gives you more storage space and stuff. Um, I'm not sure what the marine armor does. It's probably just sturdier. There's our mining belt that we want. Night vision goggles. Um, a basketball, apparently. There's some spray cans for different colors. A basket, and there's all the tools. Ah, oh, there's the arc welder. So the arc welder actually works off battery power, as opposed to um, a fuel mix, which is what the our welder uses. Uh, I wonder how expensive that is. Ten steel, ten electrum, five invar, and ten solder. We could probably do that. Um. See, and then the thing is, we then have five megapascals of a uh, hydrogen-oxygen mix. That we could use for something. Maybe like automating the furnace. But I guess we, we don't really need it for right now, so we'll just leave it. Um, there's a bunch of weapons that I have no idea what they're for. There's the upgraded mining drill. What's that worth? Yeah, it's pretty expensive as well, and we don't really need it. Okay, cool. And then uh, something else I would like to make, if I can. In here, we should find the recipe for a locker, which is um, the only storage device I have found, other than these crates, of course, but they only have 10 slots. Um, but if you make a large locker, it can hold 30 slots. 10 iron. Not sure how much iron we have left, actually. We've got 3 iron left. We're gonna have to smelt some more. Excellent, okay. So we've got a locker. Not sure where we're gonna put it. Let's just put it there for now. It's got 30 slots in it. And we'll be able to put all of our mining stuff in here. So let's grab uh, iron.
We should build another locker for uh, actual ingots. We'll keep all this separate. But for right now, I think that'll be fine. Um, and let's grab our alloys. Silicon, we don't really need. Uh, we're constantly using gold, iron, and copper. So we will leave those. And... And the steel as well. We'll keep that out. Okay, so that's good. That's um, that's all this cleared up. Let me get a replacement battery going. We are getting quite low on food, um, but I just I didn't want you guys to stress. <laughs> so, um, what we can do as a backup is in here we can make a microwave which just takes a little bit of gold and a little bit of iron. Very, very cheap. And then there is also a, a furniture kit. Not in here. It might be in this one actually. Yep, furniture. And that takes uh, quite a bit of iron and some copper. Okay, so we got a microwave. What was it that we needed? 20 iron. Shit. Alright, we're gonna have to smelt some more iron. This away. Okay, so with the furniture kit, we can make a chair, a bench, and a control chair. Uh, we want the bench. And sure, let's just, uh, we'll just dump it here. microwave we can just plop on there like that and then we'll just have to wrench it into position there we go um and then obviously we need some power so let's grab the wire cutters out and let's close some of this crap down to me jesus stop leaving all that crap open and then we just need a corner piece there so we can turn that on this uh, will probably beep at me. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, with that, we can... Um, uh, there's, a, there's a stack of five potatoes there. We can actually make a baked potato out of one potato. We only need to keep one potato to plant it, and then we can use that to make more. Um, but it is a little bit risky, I guess. Because uh, if your plant dies, then you have no more potatoes. Uh, oh, but then even then, later on down the track, we can get an organic sprinter, which will uh, be able to print. I'm pretty sure it'll be able to print everything. It just requires a lot of power. Um, so when we run out of cereal bars, which is going to be very, very soon, we will move on to baked potatoes until we get our hydro hydroponics set up which is going to be next um i have spent a long time in this episode and we haven't really achieved much <laughs> but that's um i i kind of knew that this is how the series would go um one because i don't really know what i'm doing and number two, um, it's just, I don't know, it, it seems to take longer to do stuff in this game than what, uh, I don't know, what you would expect other games 
because uh, there's a lot of fiddling around with uh, bits and pieces and like tweaking things. So, um, and this is just meant to be a filler in between uh, the Space Engineers uh, episodes anyway. So, I don't, I don't mind if it, if it kind of uh, drags on a little bit. Is that a pipe over there? Jesus Christ. All right, uh, so we're looking good. We just swapped our battery over, so we're good. And we've just eaten. Next step, uh, we've got to build a um, hydroponics station. And I think I'm going to build it here. In fact, let's just, we'll throw down the blocks for it, just so we know what we're doing next episode. Where are my frames? Oh, they're in my pocket. I'm going to need more. Put the tools away. Okay, so it will be, um, this will just be a, uh, just a walkway. There's going to be a door here and a door here for an airlock. And then what we're going to do is I have this solid wall here so we can mount our vents and all that type of stuff to this. And, um, the rest is... Probably just going to be glass. Um, we're not going to be pressurizing it very high, so the glass will hold it. Um, and then there's going to be a glass there, glass on the roof, and glass on the side here for the sun to uh, shine through. And then we're going to have, um, we will have to place some vents in here as well. So that's why I've got this back wall here. And then we'll have a couple of hydroponic stations, not a great deal, just enough to keep us alive. So it's just going to be a little one by one room uh, after the airlock. And just enough to, because uh, I, I think that'll be easier to maintain. One of the reasons I died in my previous attempt is because I attempted to make a big room for my hydroponics and my base and everything. And because it took so long to get it set up, I ended up dying. Um, so at least if we have a little one by one room, it should be easy to man maintain, easy to set up, and we should be able to get on track fairly soon. That's the uh, that's the idea anyway. Um, we uh, as well as this, we're going to need a few more blocks out here, uh, capturing gas and filtering it so we can pump it into our greenhouse room but overall uh, that's that's the idea anyway and uh, we'll get into that next episode i hope you enjoyed this one guys as always don't forget to lead your targets and i will see you next time